I'm in Hyannisport. I'm actually very near the Kennedy compound and I'll tell you where it is. Um, and I'll share this story with you in a little bit because it's getting, it's raining at the moment and I do want to get in uh, the car. I don't mind being out here. It's 32 degrees and I'm feeling great. But I'm going to turn around and show you. There is a jetty behind me <coughs> with a gazebo. And on the other side, there's a longer jetty. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's not letting me do it. So behind that, there's a longer jetty and it's got something on, on the, the tip of it. I believe that that actually is the, the, the jetty that extends out from the Kennedy compound. Actually, I'm going to walk over there and see if I can get a better picture, but I've got to watch myself because there's snow on the beach. So look how beautiful it is. Snow right up to the water. <clears throat> so when I came here in 1987, uh, this journal is destroyed with um, everything else that I lost in Harvey, but I hugged the coast at Hyannis Port. I recognized the stucco wall and then the, I think it's like a brown gate that kind of slides, you know, and there was a, uh, a, a green space off to the left of this, the, the walled off place. So uh, an open field. So I parked there. I walked around, sat on the beach and yeah. So I was in a more private space than what we have here. So let me just, let me just show you. So there is this jetty that has the gazebo and then I don't know if you can see the jetty behind. There's another one. It extends further out, okay? It ends about right, I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to catch it, right there. So a guard came out. I'm gonna keep walking over here. A guard came out and I could have sworn that I saw Joe Kennedy run by in blue running shorts from the 80s, you know, that, that were kind of short. Um, I didn't see his face, but somebody whizzed by me. I was sitting on a big log of driftwood. And when I looked up, all I saw was the back. And I thought, I wonder if that's Joe. Uh, he would be uh, Robert's son. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> This looks a lot like it. There, and actually, there may be a jetty on the other side. I, I actually don't think, I don't know. That kind of looks like it. Okay, so let's, let me show you here. Behind me, there's a jetty. As you can see, there's a gazebo. It was not this jetty for sure, but it sure looked like that one over there. Okay. It starts, these cameras, right there. Can you see it? And I'll follow my sight line and it ends somewhere. I don't know if this camera is gonna pick it up or not. It ends back over here. So this guard came out and he said, hey, do you know you're on private property? I, I said no, and actually when I looked around the corner, I saw what looked to be the big uh, gazebo. You know, it, it's got the half glass where the Kennedys used to play football on the lawn. There was a, a, a huge glass, um, did I call it a gazebo? No, it's a bay window, it's a huge bay window. <clears throat> so I saw that and so I kind of knew it probably was. And I said, well, I just moved here from Oklahoma. I'm writing my parents. And, and I don't believe that there were any signs to stay off the property at the time. He had a German Shepherd and he said, well, welcome to Massachusetts. It's gonna take me about 30 minutes to walk out to the end of the jetty and be back. And you need to be gone. <laughs> I said, okay, fine. So I finished writing my letter and then as he was coming back, I waved and he waved and that was it. 
So I thought I'd try to come and find it this time, but this time I noticed there was a sign that said, uh, private property, don't enter. And there's a little road. And I just decided to, I probably could have snuck through, but I decided to go ahead and obey the rules that time, especially during these times with COVID and social media, strange stuff, you know, you don't, you want people to feel safe. Excuse my hair. <laughs> it's looking kind of funny, but please enjoy the snow on the beach. Whoops. And thank you for watching. And I hope that this has been as fun of an adventure for you as it has been for me. Take care. Bye-bye.